This Royal Enfield 500, um, known as the Red Baron, um, was rebuilt by me not so long ago. Um, it's still here because of this uh, lockdown, the coronavirus, but uh, I did all the work on the engine that the owner wanted done, uh, including fitting a forged steel conrod and a roller big end, aluminium cylinder barrel and a forged piston. Not a high compression one, um, but just a forged uh, aluminium piston of a standard-ish uh, compression ratio. Um, it's had a new primary chain and a few of the bits and bobs. Um, I spoke with the owner today because this, like some other 500 bullets I've known of, the Indian ones, um, kick-starting it, get it onto compression and as soon as the inlet valve shuts it just feels like there's a brick in there. The compression is so hard on it, um, much harder than I'd feel was necessary. So I discussed it with the owner and I suggested that, like I've done in quite a few cases now, um, we retard the inlet camshaft by a tooth, which is 18 degrees at the crankshaft, which uh, seems an awful lot. But for whatever reason it works. I think the Indians built these engines with a very early inlet timing for whatever reason, probably to give them lots of really low down thump, you know, from more or less a tick over and so you can sort of slog along in top gear at about 15 miles an hour because for some reason they seem to like to do that. Um, but retarding the inlet cam timing by one tooth against the marks seems to make them behave more like the old British bullet engines. And this one's certainly a lot easier to kick over now when starting, so uh, I'll uh, start it up in a minute. Been up and down the lane on it, that's as far as I can go. Um, no test rides on this for the foreseeable, unfortunately. Um, start it up next and have a listen to it. But uh, from what I can glean from going up and down the lane, it seems to be quite punchy. Uh, not immediately from tick over as before, uh, just a couple of thousand revs on perhaps, and then it's a real sort of kick in the pants and away. Um, but it sounds happy with life and it's very easy to kick over. And the thing is, with retarding the inlet cam, it makes the kicking over so much easier because the crankshaft has moved around another 18 degrees on the compression stroke before the inlet valve shuts. So the piston is up a lot higher and more importantly the angle of the crank pin against the conrod is very different to what it would have been 18 degrees earlier. So the effort required at the kickstarter is greatly reduced. Anyway, enough of this. I'll put the camera down and uh, let's start him up. Here we are. I've had the engine running just a few minutes ago, so uh, I'm expecting it will start quite easily. So they'll still tick over nice and slow and steady. A good throttle response as well when you open it. A nice happy steady tick over. And the effort, well I mean you'll just have to take my word for it, but the effort that you have to put in on the kickstart lever now is greatly reduced compared to what it was before um, and as a matter of fact for difficult to kickstart engines if you have the kickstarter at the vertical that'll make them feel harder to kickstart if you can angle the kickstart back the more the better because then your weight goes onto the kickstart with the kickstart at more of an angle you'll get more leverage for your own body weight so that's always a good one to consider but this now is a lot easier to kick over than when the camshafts were timed on the marks or the inlet cam was timed on the marks and had the kickstart been vertical it would have been absolutely horrible. Um, I wouldn't say it's exactly a pussycat now but it's a lot easier. And, uh, I'm going to knock him off again.
just one more start. You can just ease the kickstart onto compression rather than past it and uh, just sort of literally spring it over compression and it starts. So there's no need to take any sudden sort of jabs, just ease your weight onto it. And as it goes over compression, just give it that extra push. So I rode this bike after rebuilding the engine as it was with the uh, camshafts timed on the marks. If it's still here when the lockdown finishes, uh, which it should be really, shouldn't it? Um, I'll aim to take another run out on it and uh, perhaps it will give us some idea as to a bit of a comparison uh, a before and an after. But uh, I'm expecting it to go well and uh, perhaps rev on a little bit further and produce a little bit more power up the high end of the rev range at the uh, sacrifice of a very small loss of power, very, very low down. But uh, overall, I think uh, we'll gain more than we lose in this trade-off. So uh, watch this space and perhaps we'll get a run on it one day in the next few weeks, all being well.